Welcome to Meditation 2, Meditation on a Mantra. And uh, I would like you to uh, get a straight back chair uh, or a nice puffy cushion if you're thinking of meditating on the cushion. So I'm going to pause here briefly to give you time to get your, your props and then we'll start. Okay, welcome to Eight Minute Meditation with Anne. And uh, if you have not seen Meditation One, it's just fine because I'm going to do a kind of shortened recap of what we did to prepare ourselves for meditation. And uh, I'll also abbreviate the discussion about what meditation is and why it benefits us. And then we'll do a little bit of yogic breathing, which is a wonderful way to start or prepare yourself for your meditation. And we'll do a couple of seated, simple movements of our body combined with yogic breaths, then we will have a short moment of gazing into the candle in order to quiet the mind, and then we'll have our actual meditation. So, are you ready? The word meditation is all over the place now because Western medicine has embraced the uh, benefits of meditation and in fact the interesting thing is that meditation is used now very widely in the corporate world because they feel that it enhances the, uh, the, the productivity and it improves the work environment. So the goal of meditation is quite simple. The mind is a very restless chattery place. We have so many channels turned on all day long. The mind says this, the mind says that. It, it, it's just driving us crazy at times. So in meditation, we train the mind using uh, the techniques of the ancient yogis. We train the mind to focus on one thing and one thing only. And that already is a huge improvement for our mental health <laughs> to think about only one thing. And the way we do it is we focus on an anchor. In meditation one, we focused on the breath. And in meditation two, we're going to focus on a mantra. So I'm going to run through our yogic breathing, our yoga, our gentle movements. Then I'll introduce how we use a mantra and we'll go right into it. So yogic breathing is one of the most valuable, portable forms of stress management that is available to us. When you're standing online in the grocery store, take these yogic breaths and you'll forget about being annoyed about how long it's taking you to stand there. So how do we do it? First of all, for yogic breathing, we always breathe, unless you have a bad cold, which I hope you don't, we breathe through a closed, the mouth is closed, and we breathe through the nose because the nose adjusts the temperature between hot and cold, and it filters out dirt particles. And the objective of yogic breathing, which is calming for the nervous system, is to bring the breath from the depths of the belly as it travels through the internal organs, massaging them and nourishing them and bringing the breath up to the top of the chest. Now, sometimes it takes a while for it to come up that high, but wherever it will go, it's all beneficial. So let's start out with the right hand on the belly and the left hand under the collarbones. Anchoring, uh, you're, you're, you're not sitting in the back of the chair so that you don't have uh, the temptation to slouch. You want to have the buttocks in the middle of the chair, spine nice and straight, and eyes opened or closed, and starting out with a huge, deep inhale, 
pulling the breath up from the depths of the belly and feeling the belly balloon out as you lift that breath up to your chest. And then on an exhale, letting the navel pull towards the spine. That's all there is to it. So let's do a round of six deep yogic breaths. Inhaling deeply, breath coming up to the top of the chest if possible. Pausing, long, slow exhale. Long inhale. Pause, long exhale. Soften your shoulders, relax your jaw. All you're doing is breathing. Inhaling deeply. Exhaling. It's on the exhale that the tension leaves the body. It's on the inhale that the body gets revitalized. Two more deep yogic breaths. Soften your face. And slowly release. <clears throat> now, a few movements accompanied by these yogic breaths are fabulous preparation for meditation because the mind already is divorcing itself from everything that's going on in our lives. So let's have some fun. On an inhale, one arm down, one arm up. Stretch. Feel that stretch in your lower spine. And then we switch. Lowering down, inhale for the stretch, exhale to lower, one more, inhale, and exhale, and slowly release. Bring the arms out to the side, on an inhale, feel the beauty of opening your chest. It already makes us feel a little more positive, a little more optimistic. And then on an exhale, bring the palms of the hands together. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Release. Sliding the palm of the left hand onto your knee, bring the fingertips of the right hand to rest on the right shoulder. Imagine you have a paintbrush at the very point of your elbow and making nice little circles in one direction and circles in the other direction and slowly releasing. And let's do the other side, left fingertips to the shoulder, circle it around. Oh, where are you feeling something happening in your body? And reverse the circle, and then slowly release. Now let's loosen up some of the tightness in the neck by bringing the right ear to the right shoulder as we keep the left shoulder down in order to stretch the muscles on the left side of the neck. Anybody feel tight in your neck, your shoulders? I think most of us carry a fair amount of tension in that part of our body. And then ever so slowly, Bring the head back to center, dropping the left ear to the left shoulder, right shoulder down. Now I just felt a little more tightness on the right side of my neck. Explore what's happening in your body. Right and left side are not always the same. And then ever so slowly bring it back to center. And then our last two movements, lowering the chin to the chest to stretch the back of the neck. Sitting up and bring the head all the way back to get rid of all those wrinkles just for this short brief moment. And then ever so slowly releasing. So before we have our excitement of gazing into the candle, I'm going to introduce the technique of meditating on a mantra. Some people respond favorably to meditation on the breath, and, and, and if that's what's working for you, stay with it. Some people prefer a mantra. 
So you will discover which one is your choice. A mantra, the mantra we're going to use today is ho hum. Now, when we meditate, we do not lengthen our breath. We let it be what it, what it is. But what happens with ho hum is that the whole triad, ho naturally harmonizes with the inhale, hum harmonizes with the exhale. So a few times, slowly, don't rush it, internally in your head, say ho hum, ho hum, ho hum. Now this ho-hum mantra is doing the same job to anchor you as the breath does. It's just a different version. So I would like you now to gaze into the candle. And since I did bring a poem to bring the mind to a different place, I'm going to read the poem as you're gazing into the candle, and then we're gonna go right into meditating on the chair or on the cushion as introduced in Meditation One. Today's poem is by Joseph Campbell, and it's called Being Fully Alive. Are you gazing at the candle? People say that we're seeking, that what we're seeking is a meaning in life. I think what we're seeking is an experience of being alive so that our life experiences on the purely physical level will have resonance with our innermost being and reality so that we can actually feel the rapture of being alive. So are you ready to take your meditation stance? I'm going to transition to the cushion for those who are opting for that version so that they can see what the meditation easy pose looks like. The heel of one foot in front of the pelvic floor and the heel of the other foot somewhere in front of that ankle. But if that's not comfortable, then by all means, go back to the chair because to be physically comfortable is our priority. Once you settle your hands into a position of either hugging the knees or the palms resting on the hands or making a circle between the finger and the, the thumb and the index finger or resting the hands in your lap, then you close your eyes and get settled. And bring in two your inner dialogue, your mantra, nice and slow, ho-hum, ho-hum. It has a kind of hypnotic little rhythm to it. And relax. Settle into it. I will give you periods of silence during which you will bring yourself back to your mantra if you notice that your mind has wandered, which it will. And just very calmly send it away with your mantra. Back to the mantra again and again to bring yourself into the calm of your meditation, soothing, quieting,
shoulders are soft, joy is relaxed. And the mantra, ho hum, is slowly turning around in your head. that thought has returned, or an emotion of some sort, send it away with your mantra. Oh, hum. Oh, hum. So the remaining few minutes of today's meditation, I'm going to remain silent and let you resort to your own devices to return to your mantra when you notice that the mind has wandered in. So enjoy the remaining time of today's meditation. Well, here we are. Loosen up your body, find a way to relax the stillness that you just had. And I congratulate you on your 
eight minute meditation. I hope you will try it on your own at home and I hope it goes well for you. Farewell.